Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So today I want to tell you about why I use IntelliJ. If you go back oh, about 2005, 2003, somewhere in there is when I started getting into Java development in the early days. And initially the IDE I used was Eclipse, like most starting out, out developers, I used Eclipse. And then uh, I started working at a company called Revolution Money, and we brought in our chief architect, John Davies, and he was rather opinionated on IntelliJ. So I started using IntelliJ there. He, he brought IntelliJ into the company. We got licensing for, for the Java development team there. And this is around Java or IntelliJ version 7-ish, if I remember right. And I, I've been in, using IntelliJ since then. And I've really come to grown to like IntelliJ quite a bit. That, that's a fantastic company. JetBrains is always in, innovating in the IntelliJ product. So I've seen a, a lot of releases throughout the years in IntelliJ and how it, it's grown in the marketplace. Now, around 2010, went to a major project out in San Francisco, and it, it's a, a Fortune 100 company, uh, multi-million dollar project. Actually, I think it was over a billion dollars on the project. And we had some people from SpringSource there, Pivotal Consultants, uh, join the team. We contracted with them because we we're going to be using Spring and Spring integration quite a bit. Uh, I think we actually had Oleg, one of the uh, committers on spring integration on the project. And we initially started uh, the, the team. We wanted to use spring to source SDS, a uh, spring source tool suite uh, that's based on an, uh, Eclipse. So after not using Eclipse for years, back in Eclipse, using the spring at, or SDS tool suite, um, we started using that. And I was open to using a different IDE. And it, it was just awful absolutely awful the, the thing was hanging up and doing random stuff and it, it would just you'd be coding and it, it would just stop and it, it it became to the point where those of us had been on IntelliJ were like saying this is unusable people who were on Eclipse at that time uh, they're like well this is just kind of normal um, I don't find that acceptable um, our team there uh, went back to, or we went to IntelliJ. We were like, SDS is just unusable. So, and I've been coding in IntelliJ since then. Now, I don't know. I've heard that SDS has improved since those days. And to be honest, I haven't looked at it. I haven't had a need to. Um, I'm continuing to use IntelliJ. I'm on uh, release 15. I follow the EAP stuff, and they're constantly innovating. The, the support for Spring is outstanding in IntelliJ, as well as a lot of different technologies. Um, Groovy, Groovy and Grail support has come a long way. So I don't see myself ever going back to STS after that experience I had with it, just because it was so awful. And to be honest, I hadn't looked at Eclipse in, uh, for about a five-year period. And going back to Eclipse, the, the UI looked the same. There was no no significant changes with IntelliJ. I've seen that UI progressively change over time and become better and better. And that's why when I started Spring Framework Guru, I reached out to the folks at, at JetBrains and say, Hey, I'm starting up this. I'm going to use IntelliJ in all my videos. I'd like to become an IntelliJ partner. And for students that join my courses, I would like to offer them a, a trial license. And that's a program that's been working out great for me uh, with IntelliJ. So if you are on Eclipse now, I encourage you to try IntelliJ. You might be like me and may not look back. Uh, I've never looked back at Eclipse. Yes, I do use IntelliJ Ultimate. There is a license fee in, involved with it. Uh, that is cost prohibitive to some people, but uh, I'm a software developer. It's one of the tools of my trade, and I, I don't mind supporting IntelliJ. Uh, they've been great. They've shown a ton of innovation. Uh, I've had problems where I, I ran into a, a glitch, or sometimes it's just stupid user error. Um, and I reach out to the IntelliJ support community, and they are fast and prompt. I, I always get a response in a few hours uh, from them, and uh, it's always been helpful. It hasn't been... Uh, a lot of times you reach out to tech support and it's absolutely useless. Not the case with the, the folks at JetBrains. Uh, they, they do support their product. They are very knowledgeable about it. And Java development isn't easy. It's, there's a lot of nooks and crannies in, in Java development. And they know their stuff across a, the entire range of the, the Java ecosystem. So hope you. that is why I use IntelliJ. If you... Uh, would like to try it out in the future. I hope you do. Uh, they do have a 30-day free trial on the on their website. 
Uh, if you want to join one of my courses, my Spring Core Ultimate course, I do give away uh, a six-month trial license to IntelliJ there, and you'll see me using IntelliJ in all my videos. You, you won't see me using Eclipse or SDS. I promise you that.